Now, let's hear from a known, uh, well-known legal expert, um, Brian Kilmeade. Oh my God, that guy's a historian as well. Talking about, <laughs> he's great. He's great when it comes to. Le- got- <laughs> it's it's great. It's great. <laughs> it's great when he. It's great when he. The legal expert. Not so great at uh, framing up a a uh, <laughs> TV behind him when he shoots a video. But he should call you for advice. Yeah, exactly. All right, here he is, Brian Kilmeade, talking about why uh, Representative Nunes has a right to sue Twitter for allowing the uh, two accounts, Devin Nunes's mom and Devin Nunes's cow, for for being on Twitter. I want to ask you about uh, Devin Nunes suing Twitter for $250 million because they censored conservatives. What do you say about that? And they're not cracking down on some of these right. non-existent people that are attacking him on Twitter constantly. And I think he's taking, he still saw what happened with the Covington kids and the lawsuit they won against Washington Post, CNN, and others. Of Pause over- Let me just um, uh, correct uh, renowned legal expert and also uh, AV genius <laughs> Brian Kilmeade here. Uh, the correct way to frame the status of the lawsuit against uh, the Washington Post and CNN by the Covington kid is that they filed a suit, not they won a suit. That's the first step to winning. Really, Shut up! You're really splitting hairs here, Sam. I know. Just, they I'm won the hair. filing. It just, the filing. <laughs> that was the first round. <laughs> filed. That's one zero. Us. Owned. We filed it. He still saw what happened with the Covington kids and the lawsuit they won against Washington Post, CNN, and others of two, over $200 million. And he said, listen, this is not okay. You're ruining lives. Now, Devin Nunes is not too worried. He knows that 50% of, uh, 50% of the country is not going to like what he does anyway. But if you're going to tweet and have some of those tweets suppressed, if people say they're tweeting at you and it's not getting through, that reminds me exactly why Don Jr. Trump was on our couch two weeks ago. He says, it's been happening to me, this shadow banning, these, uh, the way I lose, I lose, all of a sudden I lose these followers, or there's just no heat, I'm not trending. I mean, at CPAC, it was the number one conservative thing happening in politics. It was not trending on Twitter for a long time. It makes no sense. I so the, yeah. he's going to force some answers. I think it's a very courageous move. I, I think it's about time we had it out about censoring conservatives on social media. What? Uh, this is. I think it's about time we use the, the courts to suppress other people's ability to do satire. It's weird because so that we don't have our fifis heard on social media. <laughs> well, that's the we thing. sit it's... in the main propaganda network of the world, run by a dangerous billionaire. Yeah, it I couldn't mean, possibly be that nobody likes you. That's that's impossible. It has to be a conspiracy. Well, first off. Off. Like the idea that there are two accounts with 11, 1200 followers each that you can't just block them like that. Somehow this is inhibiting your role as a congressman on Twitter is absurd. There is the the idea that they're being shadow banned is also just it's stunning. This is and, you know, this is like Dave Rubin's entire business model apparently seems to be. I mean, he wouldn't have any purpose for Twitter shadow except for to complain yeah. about uh uh, YouTube ideas. subscribers. I mean, it is the, it, it really is just. I got another email today from a very influential person in Silicon Valley who told me that they're doing it. Here is the question that I think, you know, maybe uh, we'll all just die before we know the answer to. But is it possible to be a conservative? Like to even like to identify in the same way that all of these people identify with and hear this stuff and not just feel so ashamed that you decide to sort of like just move to the, to the woods and just hide in a cave. Like I can imagine there are some conservatives out there who are, who hear this stuff and say, Ugh, these guys again, I, the, uh, no one believes that Devin Nunes is being shadow banned. This is absurd. But I, I can imagine that there must be some conservatives like that, but are there really no conservatives out there who will go like, this is so embarrassing because everybody in the conservative movement, at least the pillars of this movement, seem to believe this is a real thing. I need to just stop whatever I'm doing and just go away. I, I think 
think some have taken steps to distance themselves from the worst ones like Laura Loomer, who got kicked out of CPAC, by the way, which is hilarious. I'm talking about a congressman who is the ranking member of the House Intelligence Committee. And the next thing we're going to do talking is we're going to go to two Omar's house. Twitter accounts named Devin Nunes' mom and Devin Nunes' cow. Dude, it's his mom. That, you have a little bit more respect. That he apparently can't block... And it's pissed because he's not getting the retweets he wants. So you it's like, it's Devin, one thing to say. Maybe David, Devin Nunez's who, social media person is fucking with him. <laughs> just like, oh, but, it's, but it's honestly, unblockable, like, dude. It's one thing to distance yourself from Laura Loomer because she is handcuffing herself to the, and she has no official capacity. She's just some random nutcase. This right. Is a congressman. Right. This is a congressman who is in the leadership of the Republican Party. He is the chair. He was the chair of the House Intelligence Committee. So as an example, much easier to dissociate from me when I'm on TV than when I'm president <laughs> of the United Motherfucking States. Right. Like, I mean. So good luck maybe, dissociating from that. Maybe him and Laura Loomer aren't so different. But that's my point is that the conservatives, there must be like some conservatives out there who just go like, I'm sorry. I can no longer self-identify in this way, and therefore I am going to go to the woods. I look at that as like part of this job is to basically demoralize those people and to, to disengage from politics. It, it really, I mean, if if that doesn't do it, if their the idea of their their uh, their congressional media complex is pursuing, and they've had hearings about this, I mean, if that if this doesn't embarrass them. Out of everything, well, uh, you know, uh, society. I don't. I don't their know. Their base, though. I feel like their base probably eats it up. They oh, love like, this shit. I'm like, talking about, but I'm talking. Yeah, of course they do. But I'm just saying, like, they don't care. I'm First just that was shadow banned. Speculating that, my mom that there's me. some, you know, like version of like what we do, or a writer, or just so, like who's just like this is just too embarrassing for me to be associated with. No, like that'd be like what like Stephen Crowder. He's talking about how the Democrats are for killing babies. Right. Yeah, these these people are not embarrassable. I it's think we've seen that by now. So stunning. So I think we funny- already have that, right? We already have like uh, people like from, and they didn't have the honor to go in the woods. They were just like, this is super tasteless. I'll stick around until yeah, yeah. I can shove a knife into your progressive movie. Yeah, exactly. My like. next piece is the top ten reasons why we should por- well, support on-site uh, killing at the border, or Democrats won't pick up in the midterms. Let's go.